Hey there, Soul Shines. It's Michelle here, and it's Thursday. Nope, not really. It's things we're making Thursday recorded on a Friday. Things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, yeah. Things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, yeah. So, yeah, this is take two, actually. Not only did I record a day late, but my previous recording didn't have audio. When I went to sit down to edit it, there was nothing, no sound. I was so frustrated. I was like, I'm already behind and now here I am doing this. So um, it's been super busy, super crazy. I wasn't home a lot of yesterday, so there was no video. Um, before I continue, if you like what you see here, please be sure to hook that subscribe button like the video, leave some yarn, aka a comment, in the comments. Tell me what you're working on. Tell me what you're doing for things we're making Thursday. Oh, and before I forget, if you would like to share something that you have made with the world through my channel, I would love to. Today, I'm going to share with you, um, I'm going to share two pictures, actually. Um, Angela Wright, she did send the one picture for sure to somebody else and they shared it on their channel, which was awesome. But I wanted to share it again here. So I'm gonna put it up over here. I used to put them on this side, but I realized I, I have more space on this side because I want you to see my lovely things. So this is one of the things that Angela made. And then she sent me for this week another picture. So I wanted to share that picture here for you. Actually, I shall make that one big so you guys can see it. Um, if you would like to also send in pictures to add to the things we're making Thursday, please do. I would love to share anything. It doesn't have to be a current thing you're working on. It could be past things you've made, other wearables. Um, maybe next week I will share some of the past wearables I've made. I don't know. We'll see. Um, anyway. I have been super busy, super crazy, but also super not busy in a different kind of way. I realized I wasn't keeping my yarn projects by my uh, couch where I sit sometimes with the kids and stuff, so I wasn't working on it. Um, it's just, it's been interesting, that's for sure. So, um, things we're making Thursday uh, theme for June is wearables. So I have made some progress on this, but not as much as I would like. Um, this is the Vortex Shawl. All patterns will be linked below. This one's in there too. Um, for a limited time, this one is free from uh, Expression Fiber Arts. It's usually $6. So if you want to um, go see if that's still free when you watch this, you can get the pattern for that. And um, I had a video earlier this week, Monday I think, maybe. I don't remember when it was, but I had a video that I also linked my Ravelry project page for it so you can actually see exactly which yarns I used and follow that if you would like. Maybe I've added that to my upload. I don't remember. Anyway, if it's in if uh, it's in there with the, if there's a pro if there's a Ravelry link with the um, pattern link then that's the project page. So there you go. Um, anyway got the four deck shawl working on it slowly but surely not as much as i would like um let's see i will show you i haven't made a lot of progress on this my kids will be gone this weekend so hopefully i can actually get this way far this is definitely ending up way smaller than i was hoping for but hopefully it will still work out we'll see um, so I am working on that and it's a hat, so it's a wearable. Can't show it today. The other thing is, um, I'm going to share with you up here again. This is the bird of the month from Judy's Creation and Crochet. Uh, if you want to go join that, I will put the link to the video where she announces that thing. Um, she just puts it up so that you can be inspired. She would like it to be something that you start and finish this month. Um, so some people actually make squares and then at the end of the year put a blanket together. Uh, it's really interesting to see what people make. I like watching those videos. 
Um, anyway, this month's bird, it's gorgeous. I love this bird, but uh, it's not really in my current plans scheme, if you will. But I have this yarn. It is a similar color to some of the darker feathers, like the shadowy feathers of the bird. So it's like, mm -hmm, perfect. This yarn I originally bought to make slippers for my daughter. It is still the plan. We'll get there oh, slowly but surely. But what I am doing right now and why I'm sharing this today is I'm making these. I have to uh, weave in the end. This is the only one I've made so far. It looks a little bit like the baby like that you put on their hands so that they, you know, don't scratch themselves. It looks a little bit like that. A little bit skinnier than one of those would be, but super cute. So I made this. And like I said, still need to move, weave in the ends. <sighs> this is a stretch of the imagination to allow for uh, it to be a wearable. Um, this is is my cat. I love my cat. I love making things for him. I love, he has uh, different things that he came with that are um, holiday decorations. He wears capes and some kind of hat usually. And um, then there's a hook right here that you can hang things on. So I made him, I knit him the gnome beard a while back and I knit him the gnome hat a while back. So he is pretty fun. And I have wanted to make him socks, but if it's, it's kind of a challenge. I didn't realize how much of a challenge it would be because like this one, if they were all shaped like this, so easy, I could even put a little heel in it, but this one's like this. And then this one over here is like super bent. And this one's like flat straight out this way. And then this one's so like all four of them are very different from each other. And I was like, I don't want to make something that is going to be, you have to remember this one goes on this foot and this one goes on this foot. So I'm like, how do I do that? So I made a little kind of a tube sock kind of idea. Um, and I can put it on here. Now it does go pretty high on his foot which is actually kind of cute. It's like wearing little knee highs or something, thigh highs. Um, it does go well on this one, the back one, all stretched up like that. Uh, this one here, it's okay. It works pretty, out pretty well to be on that one. But then we get to this short one. I put it here on him. And that one's just arc, arc. That was just awkward because of how it is. So I realized that uh, what I'm probably gonna end up doing is at least for one or two of them, I'm gonna fold down the edge, probably tack it down. Um, that way, when it's folded down, it will fit pretty well. Look pretty cute. Pretty nice. Um, and then it looks really cute and folded down on this side too. Then if I can get it to fold down neatly. So that will be really cute. So I think I'm going to tack them down. However, when I went to put the folded down one on my first attempt at recording this, um, it kind of sits like funky on his foot because of the way it's just straight here. So what I might do is have two that are folded down, tacked folded down, and then two that are the long so it stays on his foot and just have the long open ones on his back feet and the short folded one. Or I might just make them a little bit longer and fold them down so that the back ones are just longer. I should be able, then I would remember long ones on back, short ones on front and um, might do that. So I haven't decided for sure on that, but that's what I'm doing and I'm counting it as a wearable for my cat because he wears it. And so I'm counting it. So I'm counting that for wearables. I, of course, I'm working on my Vortex shawl, that little hat. Um, each week I do work on my um, temperature socks. Those are wearables, so I can count that. Um, the reality is, is I have quite a few projects that are kind of sitting kind of on hold that are wearable. It's such an easy month to get things in. Um, and if you haven't made wearables before, because some people haven't, 
besides maybe a scarf, which still counts. Um, there, I know there are um, super easy things that you can make, like um, granny square sweater things. So um, I hope that you do choose to join in on us with um, making wearables. But anyway, this is uh, today's project. So. I want to invite you to let your light shine through your creations, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!